Hi, I'm Dr Sarah Price and I'm a building physicist and today we're going to talk about thermal bypass. So I'm in the eaves of a room in the roof and it's been insulated with this polystyrene insulation uh, between the um, uprights here and what we've got is lots of bits of insulation missing. There's also gaps which I'll show you around the edge of the insulation there. So there's about a centimetre gap around the edge. Now what happens there is that the cold air from in the loft can get behind this insulation, can get to the plasterboard and then it will warm up, rise up to the top of the insulation and then come out again and it can create convection currents. Now if you've got cold air going behind this insulation it makes it a lot less effective and that's called thermal bypass and it can increase the heat loss through this insulation by up to 300%. Now there's lots of things we can do about this. So we can use something like squirty foam and we can fill in the gap around the edge. Now that's quite tricky if you've got small gaps because you need a very thin nozzle um, and a steady hand. Or you can use an air tightness tape. This is a specialist air tightness tape. This one's by Proclima, but Seeger also do a range of air tightness tapes. Um, they're quite easy to get hold of and you literally would just tape around the edge of all of your boards and that would stop the air from getting to the back. The other thing that you can do is you could use a mineral wool, um, slightly compressed in this space uh, and then you won't get any air coming around the, the edge because although there's lots of gaps in mineral wool, air pockets, it can't transfer air from one pocket to another so you don't tend to get the thermal bypass. Thank you for listening.